Today is going to be a quick and simple video about something that is, once again, near and dear to my heart. If you want to know what's going on with me, stay tuned. I just want to let you guys know what's going on with me. You all know that a few months ago, I had to go and get a biopsy on some nodules that were on my thyroids, and they came back non-cancerous. Yeah. Then I had to go back and I had to get this booby looked at because I found lumps in it. Yeah, I found lumps. It was two in my boobie, in my left boob. So I had to go and get my very first mammogram. Even though I'm not old enough for mammograms, I went and got it. I went in there like a brave soldier and I let them squeeze the life out of my left boob. Literally. <laughs> it came back non cancerous. Can we say two times? Can we say two times? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I found a lump in my right breast, y'all. Listen, I understand that I've gained some weight over the last year, two years. I understand that after getting married, you know, I put on the little pounds and everything. I understand that everything don't smooth out right. I understand there's little lumps in my thighs, you know, little lumps in my arms, face getting a little fuller. But what I don't understand is why I keep getting these lumps everywhere. Especially inside my boobs. I'm just being silly, y'all. For real, though. I really don't understand why I keep getting these lumps in my breasts. When I went back with my friend, I discussed um, about having this, these tissues in, in your breast that, you know, create these lumps and stuff. And the things that create that is, um, she said, um, caffeine and chocolate and all these things. So now that I think back, I haven't had any caffeine, chocolate, anything. So I'm like, what is this? And they say, you know, the, the lumps on this side were painful and she says you know one thing uh, pain is not an indication of cancer so you don't need to worry about that so when I discovered the lump on this side on the right hand side the first thing I noticed about it was that it was not painful so it's been probably I'm almost certain I, I have found this lump before I moved into this house which is almost three weeks ago so last week I just said, you know, I had told my husband once we get all situated and, you know, stop um, moving and unpacking and stuff, I'll make an appointment. So I called and I made an appointment and I go in Friday again for another mammogram. So I'm going to be driving four hours back to where I was before. Why? Because I'm not familiar with this military type healthcare here on base and from what I've heard I haven't heard any good stories about getting treatment here on base so I wanted to go back to where I've been before so I can get some good you know attention to what needs to be taken care of so that's what this video is about that's the item or the thing that is near and dear to me once again I have another lump and so this will be 
probably the fifth or the sixth time I will have been tested to see if I have cancer. Now, I'm about to speak to the people of faith. If you're not a person of faith, hopefully this will encourage you as well. Since I was a little child, I've Since I was a little child, I've been, you know, I've had some hard times. I have been sick many times in my life and hospitalized. I have been um, sick to the point to where they ask if I have a proxy, if I have um, a will, and who are my children going to go to. It was that bleak. Uh, I've had a lot of health scares in my life. And what I've come to believe is that there is something really, really strong that I'm supposed to do. There is a very, very high calling on my life. And the adversary has been trying all of my life to keep me from reaching the goal that has been put before me. And all of my life I fought, I fought, I fought to do the things that I'm supposed to do and to be on the right track. And here I am again. So what I know and I realize is that this is just a trial. This is here to make me strong. And when it's all over with, said and done, I will be victorious. And I will be helped millions of people through my testimony. And so with that being said, I want to let you guys know, even though it's my umpteenth time having to go and be tested for cancer, I'm not worried. Because the Lord I serve has promised me a good future and a future of hope and I'm gonna hold fast to that he has promised me that I will live and not die I'm gonna hold fast to that he has promised me that I will live to see my children's children's children and I will hold fast to that no matter how scary it gets no matter how bleak it looks no matter how dark it gets see the side of my face is dark because this is natural lighting on this side and the Sun has gone down because the clouds have overtaken it with this darkness. However, right underneath, I'm literally looking out my window telling you guys this, it's right underneath that darkness, there's a small little piece about this big of light underneath there. And that's what I'm saying to everybody today. Even though it looks dark in your life right now, if you could just hold on to the thought and the promise and the knowledge that there is light on the other side of that cloud, press, push, don't give up. Keep going and you will get to the other side where the light is at. Don't let this trial scare you. Don't let this trial make you lose faith in the Lord that you serve. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm no different than anybody else. I'm still the same person as you are. I put on my pants the same way, one foot at a time. And just as good as I can do it and I can hold fast and I can have faith and never give up, you can too. So I'm encouraging you guys. Keep me in your prayers. Keep watching my videos to see what takes place in my life. And as you do that, keep living your life to the fullest that you can. And I promise you, you will not regret it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. As I always say, please like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Because I want to encourage people all across the world as I live my life out loud. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.